Hi everyone, James from BitPay here. I'm here with Eric Lacharvec, uh, CEO of Ledger, one of the leading hardware pro wallet providers in the Bitcoin space, in the cryptocurrency space altogether, and a longtime sponsor of the Consensus Conference here. So we're really glad to have Eric. We want to talk today a little bit about hardware wallets. So tell me about um, what brings the Ledger team here to Consensus. Well, as you said, we have done all the consensus uh, since the start. For, for us, it's very important to be here. And we basically have two main subjects at the conference uh, this year. The first one is, of course, the Ledger Vault, uh, the demand for uh, custodian technology for financial institution has never been higher. And also we are launching the Nano X, which is the latest generation of a hardware wallet with Bluetooth connection. So you can really use your crypto on the go with your uh, mobile phone. So first I want to ask about Ledger Vault. I understand that a big part of the security that Ledger Vault offers is multi-authorization, similar to kind of the principle of multi-signature transactions. Yes, with yeah, correctly. It's about governance. Yes. If, if you are a financial institution, you have $100 million in Bitcoin, for instance, you could use a hardware wallet. But the question is, to whom do you give the device? Who has the PIN code? Who has access? What happens if uh, your CFO just decides to run with it or if you have a hostage situation? So that's why you need something more. You need to have multi-authorization, you need to have time locks, you need to have governance, you need to have rules. And Ledger Vault is a technology that enforces rules and governance on a set of accounts, uh, crypto accounts, so you can manage all the crypto assets as a team with all validation, audits, uh, verification, etc. It's a, it's a very important concept. We use multi-signature within BitPay directly as well, and I'm sure you'll find as, as more financial firms adopt more and more that they'll want multiple signers. How, how many signers can you have with, with Ledger Vault? Well, there is no limit. Uh, you can have as much as you want because the management of the rules of the governance is not done at the level of the blockchain. So we are not, for instance, using multi-signature script of Bitcoin, but at the level of the secure hardware. So we can have some external uh, oracles, we can have time locks, we can have every, any kind of script, any kind of rules that we want. So there is a lot of flexibility and it works f for any kind of crypto asset. So brilliant. With, with, let's talk about the Ledger, Ledger, uh, Ledger Nano X now. Yeah. Tell me what you're most excited about with the Ledger Nano X and why, why, that, why it's, how it stands out among Ledger's product offerings right now. So the Nano S, which has been the best seller of our hardware wallet that we put on the market in 2016, has been sold to 1.5 million units. It has been a very big uh, success. And so we are very excited to introduce the latest generation, which is the Nano X. Uh, one of the biggest asks from our customers was to be able to use the device on the go. Anywhere. If you have a Nano S, it means you need to take your laptop, you need to connect the cable. It's a little bit clunky, so it works very well for like other situation when you want to buy and hold. But if you want adoption, if you want to be able to use your, your cryptocurrency, your crypto assets securely everywhere you go, then you need to be able to use it with your mobile phone, your Android phone, your iPhone. And so the Nano X has a battery, has a Bluetooth connection. So you can really be free and flex have the maximum flexibility with your cryptocurrencies. And also we have more memory to have more apps in the same time. We have a better UX. It's, it's really an evolution. And so that's why for us it's very uh, exciting because that's uh, one of the biggest, let's say, new product that we put on the market uh, since uh, now almost uh, three years. It's amazing. It's, a, it's been amazing to watch the hardware wallet space and how much it's evolved. Yeah. How, how synonymous with security Ledger is actually. Ledger and Trezor, I mean, you, you guys have become very well known as being the secure go-to wallet for hardware. So I'm just curious, looking forward into the future now, you have a great wallet, which is going to be great for mobile and spending. You have a great, great wallet for kind of more uh, institutional saving and investing. What do you see developing in the hardware space now that gets you excited about new security possibilities or new usability possibilities? Well, if you think about mass adoption, and when we say mass adoption, like hundreds of millions or maybe a billion person which are going to use crypto, then of course security is important and self-governance is important. That you will need to have solutions which are going to give you the property of your own crypto so that you have your own governance that you can really manage yourself. Hardware wallets are good because they give you the security and everything that you need to do that yourself. But the biggest problem of a hardware wallet is that you need to buy a hardware wallet. Yes. So it can work for the first 10 millions, maybe the first 100 millions. But if you want to go to a billion, it's, it's not going to work. So the future uh, is going to be through the mobile phone, the smartphones, and to integrate 
the security technology directly inside the phones. And so in a couple of years, or maybe in five years, because it's hard to, 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 to say how long it's going to take, all the crypto assets will be managed directly into the latest smartphones with the same level of security that you can have with a hardware wallet. So this is one of the shifts we are going to see in the future and we are very excited about that at Ledger because we really want to deploy our technology into this kind of smartphones. Excellent. Well, hey, I encourage everyone out there to go check out the Ledger site. They accept Bitcoin with BitPay. Of so course. You can buy, your, buy your hardware wallets with Ledger uh, and see all the work, cool work they're doing. Thank you so much for making the time, Eric. Thank you. Thank you.